Hey everyone, Shine Sprite Ditto. We have stepped foot into the Spirit Temple. Otherwise known as my favorite dungeon in the entire game. Let's. <laughs> I forgot I had the big. I don't know why. That was so funny and threatening to me that he just pulled out the big Goron sword. Let us step forward with pots that attack. And I like how they will always like give you a heart back, so there's just really no reason for them to exist at all. And the last part, we made our way through the Gerudo Valley, Gerudo Fortress, and the Haunted Wasteland, getting all kinds of gold, sculptures, Nehru's love, and heart pieces. And now in this part, we are going to continue the Spirit Temple, or start it, rather, in hopes of making it really far in. So, let's start off with our first puzzles. Alright, we, uh... All right, well, that's not going to move. Um, all right, so uh, these things. Uh, oh, okay, they're enemies. Maybe we got to defeat them. Maybe we got to, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Oh, okay, uh, let's look around. Um, there, there's something up there, but there's no way for us to, to get up there. And, and then, oh, okay, okay, all right. Oh, well, I guess we're too big to crawl in there. There's a... Uh, no way to go forward. Well, let's see what we have here. If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. Power of silver. Hmm. If you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. I mean... If we try to go to the Temple of Time, there's no way for us to get through the Gerudo Desert as a child. Hmm. I guess we'll just leave for now. Sheik again. Past, present future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port of that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Kabora Gabora. It's been a long time. He flies off, not even saying anything. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. Sheik, are you? Sheik is gone. Without a word. Yeah, you do not want to immediately warp to the Temple of Time as soon as you figure out you need to be a child, because if you do, if you do, you will not have the Requiem of Spirit, and you cannot travel back here, and you will realize that as soon as you become a kid, and uh, you will have to go through all of that again. So, definitely make sure you have the Requiem of Spirit. But now that we do... I guess there's no reason for us to stay here any longer. Let us venture forth to the Temple of Time. Warp to the Temple of Time? <laughs> Indeedly do! I need someone else guiding over me when I record these to prevent me from just speaking, you know. Remove all free will from me, but... Let us put the Master Sword in its pedestal once more and make our way to the Spirit Temple. And you thought all of the child dungeons were over? <laughs> no, no. We, have, we are finishing it off with a bang and returning to do a child dungeon yet again. 
All right. Now that we have a way to the desert, actually. All right. We are much we are a much stronger child than before. So. The Requiem of Spirit in hand. Let us hold on a minute. <laughs> I pressed B, but I all right. I guess we're going anyway. I, I guess because B equals A. Uh, okay, all right. Let's make sure I have everything I want to have. All right, we do have magic beans, uh, and maybe we can catch a bug somehow from these rocks. I doubt it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be right back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, now that we have a bug in hand, now we want to go to the Desert Colossus. Because... We can... You see soft soil. You plant a bug in it, you get a gold sculptula. It's a science by now, right? It's a science. So, let us wait for them to climb down in there. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And gold sculptula conquered. All right. And uh, I almost walked away without, <laughs> without planting the magic beans at all. Soft soil, magic beans. It's a science by now. A science. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. What do you have to say, Nami? I wonder who built the spirit temple and for what purpose. Yeah, that's a legitimately good take from Navi. That is very interesting. All right, now that we're a child, let's begin to progress the spirit temple. No reason we shouldn't. Who are you? Hello, who are you? I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? You see the temple? You're just a kid. The temple is no place for kids. I haven't seen you around, kid. What? No, do not say... Alright. Nothing, really. You have nothing to do. <laughs> what good timing. Can you do me a favor, kid? Wait a second. I want to ask you first. You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? No, I hate Ganondorf. Uh-huh. You've got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Nabudu of the Gerudo. Nabudu, we heard about you. You live here, right? I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that lone male Gerudo must become king of the Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what is your name, kid? Link? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway... I want to ask you a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? I would love to, Nabudu. Hmm? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very heavy things. <laughs> no, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't fit a little kid like you if you try to equip them. <laughs> I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Ganondorf and his minions are using the spirit temple as a hideout. Only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? Of course I will. Thanks, kid. You and I. Let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can successfully get the Silver Gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. Alright, well, 
it seems that Nabudu, the leader of the Gerudo before Ganondorf, and a lone thief that acts on her own accord, seems to not like him very much. The Silver Gauntlet seem to be what's required for us to push through there as an adult. I mean, they won't fit a kid like us after all, so let's go through here and see if we can try to find anything. And we got some more of these sliding puzzles. Definitely want to unequip your Deku Shield because there's going to be quite a few fire enemies in the Spirit Temple, but we're officially on our way to making progress through the Spirit Temple. Spirit Temple. So, let's see what we can do. We're going to defeat the enemies here. Really good shield. Because both our ways are blocked, and the only way that I see to get through is to defeat all the enemies in this room. And, sure enough, what do you know? It appears the doors have opened. Let us head to the left for- Ow. Let's head to the left first. I believe that the slingshot will be better. And Astalfos! We haven't fought one of those as a kid? That's really exciting. They really are going to amp up the difficulty for this final dungeon and uh, have us deal with powerful foes as a kid where all we have is our, uh, our uh, Kokiri sword. Let's see if we can actually try to knock him off. Maybe. Yeah, the slingshot doesn't even do anything. But luckily, the boomerang will paralyze him. So we don't gotta worry about using Deku Nuts or something like that. Yeah, oh man, when you're fighting these things in the Shadow Temple, um, and you have the big Goron sword, and then you come to here and you do it as a kid, it takes way longer. Oh, we almost could have gotten him to fall off. Alright, there we go. That wasn't that bad. Uh, it just took us a little a little bit, but wasn't anything too difficult. Let's see. I believe the slingshot will kill you if you can actually stun it. Yeah, there we go. It won't kill it until you stun it. I don't think we can just... Yeah, we can't just shoot that. We have to throw... We have to Z-target the boomerang. Kind of. I hope that didn't... Yeah! I'm just gonna go straight for it this time. Oh, brother. Don't make the same mistakes I have. Oh, jeez. Come on. Just die. Please do me this favor and make it a nice, simple death, I beg of you. Maybe even just fall off. Oh, man. Alright, there we go. Don't even gotta worry about it. Okay, let's take a step back, throw the boomerang, and sort of line ourselves up so that we'll hit the switch on its way back. It... Not quite. There we go. Uh, when you throw the boomerang, you can actually control which direction it goes to based on your uh, control stick, so whatever direction you move, the boomerang will move as well. And if your shield burn up, there's uh, five rupees that would be a shield if you uh, used your Deku shield on the uh, keys. All right, we got one of these guys. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can bio it. Actually, that would be really interesting. Anubis, it's vulnerable to fire. All right, I didn't expect them. I mean, I should have guessed, but let's hit the switch. And I went wrong way. I forgot. This one is... The fire won't stay there forever, but luckily that this is pretty easy. So we can hit the switch from over here, and once it's standing in the fire ring, it will vanish. Persona 5 has taught me that Anubis is not weak to fire. So, you know, I said Persona 5, but really the whole entire SMT series, but... 
I, that's like my hyper fixation right now is trying to play all the Persona and Shimagami Tensei games. That's what I've been doing in my spare time. Um, what little there is, actually. Alright, monsters of shadows that hang from the ceiling. You know what that means. Don't focus on it. anything else until this thing is dead. Wherever it may appear. Okay. Alright. Alright. Come on. Okay, we moved, we moved, too, we moved too fast. Alright, don't, don't let it out of your sight. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We stay winning, we stay winning in this house. Alright, almost back to max rupees, even though I spent all of them like an idiot in the other part. <laughs> you guys didn't see that, I, I definitely cut that out. Alright, let's get rid of these. I believe that that is a gold sculptula, but we can't get it yet. Uh, we have another puzzle that involves us getting silver rupee. Come on! It's like dead on. I know that I can shoot you from this. Ah, whatever. I'll just wait, I guess. Yeah. No, that that does not appear to be a gold sculpture. Nope. I, I, I should have just kept my mouth shut. Oh, I can collect the token from this side of the gate, but... Ooh, buddy. I can collect the token from this side of the gate. But I can't defeat a bat enemy that was sitting on the gate. Alright, alright, whatever. Whatever. At least we got a, our uh, first gold sculpture lift for the Spear Temple. And a torch puzzle. We haven't seen one of these in a while. But now that this gate is down, we can actually light a Deku stick. And... Really easy. I haven't seen one of those in a while. It's nice to be back here as a kid. Uh, doing some kid stuff with some kid items, you know? It's really cool. That, I think it's unbelievably cool that, you know, you play the first portion of this game as a child, and then the second portion as an adult. And for the final dungeon, they have you doing both. It's just, it, it's so cool to me. It's so cool. Alright, we've looped back around. We have our small key. You had to go left because that gate would not be down until you defeated the enemies on that side, and there's no way of doing so until you, uh, uh, or collecting the rupees, I mean, until you actually go from that side. So you have to go left. You cannot go right. You'll see that very quickly. Uh, yeah, okay, no, not this one. All right. Let's go through here. Continue making progress. I have a certain goal for this video, but I really don't think I'm going to reach it. Uh, the Spirit Temple might be the longest, like, set of parts we have. I don't think it'll be two. I think it's actually going to be closer to three. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do. We'll see what we do. We'll see. All right. And I believe, yep, our second Gold Sculptula. Really good progress on that end. Yes, throw it over. Throw it over. And now, believe it or not, I don't think... Oh my god, that actually scared me. I knew that they were in here, but I forgot and didn't think that they dropped down already. Alright. Lysifulse again. It's been... For as common as they are in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, we have not seen one of those since, like, the second dungeon. There should also be one... There should be another one. There it is. Alright, you just had to step to that side of the room. They're like hidden assassins, you know? Wow, I'm doing an awful job at shielding. <laughs> Alright, there we go, there we go. So I don't believe that you can actually uh, bomb this with normal bombs. You have to have bomb chews. So. Boom! Easy! That is what bomb chews do. You throw them and they will slide up the wall and uh, blow up. We've seen them from the Bomb Chew minigame, and that is the only other time in the game that we've actually seen Bomb Chews. And this is the first time that they're actually required for anything. If you don't have Bomb Chews from the store, shooting this crystal and opening this chest should give you Bomb Chews? Yes! So that is how you'll get some if you are having trouble with this room. If you use all those, I don't know what to tell you. 
and another shield chest. We really don't got to worry about those anymore. We're at max rupees again. So, let's push this off here. There's a switch down there that opened up this way. It seems that there's a whole other half of the dungeon. We can really see some of the later parts uh, from pretty early on. Very, I think that that's very cool how much of this dungeon we can actually see when we're here as a child, even though we won't be able to access it. Let's continue making progress. We're getting really close to um, just getting really far into the dungeon. We've made some sign do we even have like the dungeon map or anything like that i don't think so yeah no just the rooms we've been in bemos let's go ahead and just get rid of those do not want to deal with them while we're trying to collect these rupees again yeah get out of here Ooh, bombs i'm actually getting i didn't realize how low i was getting on bombs so i'm glad to have some of those let's see all right but we, we're getting close to my goal. But I also don't want this part to be insanely long just to reach that goal. So once it hits about 30 minutes, I'm just going to call it regardless of where we're at, unfortunately. So let's grab these silver rupees. We see some blocks. There's nothing we're going to do with that just yet. Instead, we're going to try to... No. Nope. Right. We'll grab it from this side. Jump over. And there we go. Actually, a pretty unique... Uh, well, not unique, but pretty cool... <laughs> um, silver rupee puzzle. Man, my mind is kind of drawing a blank. I should probably just quit recording at this point. But we see the face of the sun, and we see a light beaming down. And uh, just like when we had the bomb choose, it activated the sun switch. So let's try to pull that sun switch over to where the light actually is. Come on. Come on. And... There we go! This opens up both sets of doors, but what was the point of getting the silver rupees then? Well, I don't know if you saw properly, but, but that activated this switch. So now that the uh, switch, this light, so now we can light up the rest of the torches that are in this room if we quit running into stuff. I did this very slowly. Let me try that again. I I overestimated. I underestimated how many torches there actually were in this room. There we go. And a chest falls down. We went through all this trouble, so there has to be something good in it, right? Because not only did we have to get the silver rupees, we also had to light all of the torches and complementary of it. A small key. You know what? Yep, I'll take it. That's worth it. Alright, we hear another gold sculptula. And three. Three whole gold sculptulas for this dungeon. That is insane. So, a locked door awaits us. I think that's going to be it for this part. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're going to be progressing through the Spirit Temple and hopefully making our way to the adult sections. I will see you guys then.